Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and hello again Cancer. Today we're reading about career and money and so we're looking at a general reading about career advancement and the effect of that on our um, finances. I'm planning guys to be doing specific money readings directed to money, um, investments, finances, mainly on the subject of money, about manifestation of money. But for today we're looking at career, so 10 cards we're pulling. Uh, more important cancer, and I hope you guys bear with me in that part, more important than what I say and what I see here is that you know the card spread. What that does is it keeps the control in your hand. You know how I'm looking at things as a reader, trying to answer a general question. So our question we're going to try and puzzle in positions one and two. Position three is going to talk about your current effort. Now we're assuming that we are looking at career development, advancement, and also following that financial development. So that's going to be where we're pulling a question from. Third is what you're doing to achieve the objective in the immediate term, as if we're saying what has to happen first. Number four is the immediate result, first things first, that you're trying to put together. Number five describes an asset, uh, something that works well for you, and so let's do more of it. And that may lead to an opportunity in position six. Position seven, we look at your outlook on the current effort. So when I do personal readings, one and two and seven are quite related. Is the question about um, when will I get a promotion or is it how do I get a promotion and so on and so forth. So position seven is your outlook on that situation, uh, what you may be doing and so on. Position eight is about timing. So should there be a number there? You want to take a predictive note, take that with a grain of salt, but really for me, more important to empower you is to talk about prerequisites to taking big action, okay? Position nine is a little bit about the cause, the purpose, and position 10, some possibilities, maybe positive, maybe something cautionary, but let's see, Cancer. Okay, so card number one, we have a seven of swords. Okay, so we have a seven of swords here, and in two, we have an ace of swords and fyi if you guys do not know how i read i do not read reverse cards they pop up um, i think we can talk about it and talk about the meanings without letting the card lead us okay uh, so we're all intelligent people and we know that sevens represent confidence okay so a seven of swords is something we're talking about and seven of swords in the area of work so confidence at work not necessarily confidence because we are uh, shy with presentation. It's confidence that your approach delivers what you want. And you have a new idea as well in position two, another sword element there, an ace of swords. Okay, so confidence that a new idea is going to gain fruition. How is that? A new idea or a new approach. Now, with respect to what you may be doing in the current time, and we have a five of wands. Okay, so getting busy coping with some changing thoughts, uh, maybe some changing dynamics. Guys, the element of change, if it didn't exist, you would not be wanting to read, you know, and, and look into a tarot reading. So obviously there's always ongoing changes. But what I see you doing, Cancer, is I see the element of fire. I see excitement. I see the ability of coping proactively. Okay, let's do that. Proactively coping with some changes. And that's a beautiful, beautiful five of wands. Now, could it also imply maybe a little bit of distraction? Sometimes. Let's see what we're trying to achieve in position number four. Okay, so we have a lovely page of pentacles. Okay, that page of pentacles is the new approach that, you know, what popped up with the ace of swords, if you will. Now we are trying to achieve, if that resonates with you, a path forward. Remember here we were saying uh, gaining confidence about whether the approach will work or not. Here, the immediate result is to put a practical plan. Pages, new approaches, new ideas, but Pentacle Suit requires a detailed plan. The element of money is involved here too. This is a page of coins, if you will. So we're trying to put a plan in order to have this page benefit in more coins. We're dealing with some changes in the immediate term, but we have an idea that we're trying to be confident will work. That's kind of where I'm going with that. Okay, about an asset available to you. What could we see? Um, and we have the six of wands. All right, so an asset available to you, Cancer, to you, my viewer, okay, 
um, is the ability to overcome obstacles. And guess what? At the five, we were saying in good spirit and excited. And the same thing here. So six of, and that's a beautiful wand color too. Six of wands, guys. So overcoming of obstacles, yet remaining excited yet being able to take a leadership role. This is the quality that we need to put forward a lot. This is an asset, if it resonates with you, Cancer, that's available to you that we need to, okay, emphasize more, find more settings where this is worth the upgrade, okay? So I'm now thinking, if I have those leadership qualities, maybe, maybe, uh, this is something that I should, okay, keep in the background, and if I have not probed for said settings, if that resonates with you, if you are able to take a group of folks who may be distracted at times and present something, inspire them, get them to rally around you. You have those skills. We are seeking a leadership role of some sort, okay? And we need to emphasize those. We need to emphasize not just the mediator, the ability to put people together, but the ability to also lead them forward in a proactive uh, manner, if you will, productive manner. Now, opportunity shows up with another page, a page of flexibility, if you will, a page of cups, of course, a page of intuition. So it's as if to say, your approaches, okay, the paths that lead you to progress, to success, to opportunities are laid out, okay? These are not just aces, guys. These are pages. That means if it resonates with you, you have the tools. You have the supportive energies. You can rely on the wisdom of this young page there who's going to talk about a big, big plan. And then the opportunity comes when we have that flexible energy, that agile energy. So when I say intuitive here, I don't mean they're listening to Marwan only. <laughs> I mean they have their eyes and ears open. They are sniffing around for opportunities. They are looking for ways to present that, you know, what energy of the Six of Wands in terms of leadership to take action. Alrighty, Cancer. Okay, position seven and your outlook on the current situation. It's as if the change element is around us here. So another five, a five of cups in that case. Now, maybe this is how we look at it, guys. So if you were in front of me, which, okay, maybe you are, I say, okay, fives, represent change and a change of feelings so we could be right now looking at okay the new idea maybe i have a few different feelings about it now after i'm seeing some changes here we got the page of pentacles maybe we have a changing idea we're thinking how do we feel about that plan changing feelings this is what it is not a negative one never about loss just a card the number five is about change and this is about our feelings so Things that we are doing here are causing this current change. Could be positive or it could be cautionary, guys. And there is nothing wrong in having changing feelings about approaches that you refine, that you understand may not work. That's what that intuitive page does. They're flexible. Remember I said this is a water element. Opportunity comes with us being alert and being agile and being flexible. Okay, to the timing position. And we have the fool. Okay, now, it's not as if the fool preps a lot before they move. So really, we say at times, caution, when the fool is there, in terms of timing, we say study the plan a little bit more. You have two pages there who are providing amazing energy, yet we're not in a knighthood stage, if you will. Again, if that resonates with you. So do not let me saying this stop you from handing in and turning in a resume. An object in motion stays in motion, guys. But what I could say to you about timing is, if you're going to be handing a resume soon, please mind the presentation. If you're going to be interviewing, mind the presentation. That's what the full card is telling me. Have a goal, guys. Have some timelines. Have, have a goal. Of course you have goals. But as you present, that's where I'm going with that. Okay, because we can take a note on the fool and say, the most ambitious energy I can ever think of. Okay, super ambitious. Now let's capsulate that with a little bit more of refined presentation, with a little bit more of thoughts put together, and things work out very, very well for you. Um, I'm sensing, okay, a little bit of a wish for departure. Based on those cards, based on the fact that we got the full card, based on 
the number of changes that we are considering are we in control appears that way because you're coming up with you know what short-term goals that say practical realistic from the ground up etc about purpose and we have the two of wands directions having more than one option having a plan b mm, doubling of income perhaps you know what advancement of some sort yet that's also very very excited you're trying to build on something the idea that popped up here now we want to have more come out of it now we want to have you know what a four down the road an eight down the road so advancement the thought i know the two may for some people spell stalemate um choices well of course you're making choices you want to make better choices this is a wand element my choice need not be just based on need very very pentacle like or very very sword like no i can also have fun choices in life all right, you guys, about possibilities and what we could say. And here we are, attainment, nine of swords. So if I wanted to pull a predictive note and say, if this reading was to lead me to a, you know what, how does cancer achieve their goal? I would say very, very, you know what, likely, very, very possible. Um, you have such logical, that's the possibility. You have such logical um, passion for this goal that a nine of swords pops up, meaning you're going to put the proper planning, you're going to put the proper rationale in how you present, you're going to filter and scan the opportunities proper, uh, properly, especially if you're making a move outwards, as the Fool card may suggest, and as two pages here may suggest as well. I see it balanced, guys. I see you with an ace of an idea that you're developing, and I see the element of excitement. So I hope those notes resonate with you, Cancer, Guys, I do 12 readings on the subject every month, okay? This is the reading I dedicated to cancer, but I would encourage you to watch other readings as well. There is nothing about cross-watching and all that good stuff, really. We're just trying to come up with some productive, creative ideas here for all of us. And with that being said, cancer, I hope you guys like today's reading. Would love it if you would comment and subscribe. Cancer, you are so amazing, and I want you to know we do love you madly. Bye for now, guys.